In this video tutorial, I will show you how to create MRTG server using your Microtech. Hi, my name is Tal Hali and you are watching Zonet Solutions tech channel where I frequently post track related videos. Okay, so let's jump to the computer screen. So I have here a Microtech router. All you need to just go to the tools section and find the uh, graphing, right? So it's uh, one, two, three, four, the fifth feature in the tools. Oh, well, I'm using Microtech router x86. Um, and I use this just for testing and uh, to make videos to teach you guys whatever I know and uh, sometimes I get confused like what should I make and uh, that takes me a lot of time to like decide what should I make what feature should I uh, use to create a video because I have created like so many videos on Microtech and DM radius manager but if you guys want to know something different you can just comment me and I will make video for you all right so we're gonna click on the graphing so first always whatever you're going to configure make sure you see the settings whatever is there read that carefully so in the graphing settings uh, there is only the store time so i'm gonna select five minutes which is like more frequent uh, than uh, like setting hours or for 24 hours that's fine right because if you want to see like how the bandwidth is going last five minutes report it's good so i'm gonna go apply and then okay but you can change as per your requirement and then I'm going to go to click on the plus sign. Uh, the plus sign in the Microtech, it always means you're going to add something like uh, adding a rule, adding a user or adding anything like adding DHCP server, adding hotspot server. So first it's asking for the interface. So we have uh, normally in a Microtech router, even in the smallest one, which is uh, I don't remember the model name G because uh, my last job in my uh, in, in 2016 we were using that was CCR um, 1036 or 1038 and that was uh, the router which like uh, which has 12 uh, ports but uh, if you're using even the smallest one that has a minimum of five or four ports so you can uh, configure it on any of the interface like if you have the bridge interface you can configure on that to monitor um, the bandwidth of the LAN users or if you have like LAN users or even if you want to configure it on the VLAN interface you can do that or if you want to check your van uh, bandwidth you can do that too but in my case I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, let's say just just uh let's say all and uh it's asking for the addresses like what addresses are allowed and it's gonna store on disk i would say yes because i have enough space in my computer and this thing is installed in my computer so i'm gonna just hit apply and then okay and uh let's go and see the ip address so the van ip address which is coming dynamically because it's connected to my router, my home router. So it's 192.168.12.159. Okay, so I'm gonna open this thing up. 192.168.12.159 slash, I think it's called graphs. Okay, so you can see uh, it's showing all the uh, interfaces either one either two vlan 11 vlan 12 whatever uh, is on my micro interfaces you can see it's uh there is one bridge port there is one van port uh which is ether one and uh the land port which is ether two and i i created so many vlans and like m making videos so if you guys are watching my videos continuously you should know why i created all these vlans if not then you should go and see uh, there's a lot of information okay so i'm gonna <clears throat> go back to page and let's go to the ether one so currently it's showing nothing because i'm doing nothing right 
and uh, I'm gonna check one by one there is nothing literally nothing so to see the uh, report of this at least you should have one computer connected uh, like do something some browsing or on internet or uh, do some downloads or uploads to see the results currently i just have this micro tick turned on so it's not going to show anything because i'm um, no computer is connected to that micro tick to generate some results so it's that easy uh, i hope you liked the video and if you like the video make sure to click on the thumbs up button which is the like button and uh, obviously i know you are my subscriber if not please go ahead and subscribe and uh, click the bell icon i'm i'm like creating videos every day now and i'm um, sharing all the information whatever i have so yeah i'll see you in the next video